Okay, so um, I got challenged by McDonald's. I um, I usually don't get behind like the fads and all like the um, quirky like monthly things that like fast food places do for holidays. Um, I've never had a McRib before. Uh, I'm always intrigued by it because they put like, you know, all the commercials out and hype it up on, you know, TV and stuff like that. But Shamrock Shake was one that was interesting to me because I, I never knew what it was. I didn't know if it was like mint chocolate chip or if it was like vanilla with marshmallows in it and just some green food dye and whipped cream. Um, but it never really like seemed too appealing to me. I usually like would just get a milkshake from Baskin Robbins or something. Um, then the other day I saw it was St. Patrick's Day. I didn't even realize. Uh, and I like was kind of intrigued by the Shamrock Shake for whatever reason this year. Maybe just because I'm bored, stuck at home. So this morning I tweeted out, um, you know, asking people what their thoughts were on the Shamrock Shake. I didn't get too many like responses. A couple people said it was good, but the silence um, scared me a little bit. Uh, again, I don't, I don't know what it is. If it's mint chocolate chip or something, usually the milkshake machines are broken at McDonald's. Um, but I didn't even tag McDonald's and they responded like, while well, supplies last, so you better get it quick. So it's a day after St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I'm assuming they still have it. So I'm gonna go to McDonald's. I'm gonna try this Shamrock Shake um, and see what's up. You know, I'm I'm a little curious about it right now. Uh, if it's mint chocolate chip, it's a wrap because that ice cream is terrible. But if it's vanilla with some marshmallows and just like a little bit of some green dye and some whipped cream, it could be banging. Uh, like low key, McDonald's has good ice cream. Their vanilla is good. The joke is that the machine is always broken, but when it's not, it slaps. So if if all like if this McDonald's that I'm gonna go to is like hitting on all cylinders, like the machine's working, they got the green dye still, uh, you know, it's not like too far past St. Patty's Day where like, yeah, we still got it, but it's expired and everything's like kind of crusty. Um like a day after St. Patty's Day is a good time to go get it because if it is good, people definitely were going like prior to St. Patty's Day getting it and It'll be busy, it'll be sold out, you know, like, but a day after St. Patty's Day and like you're sort of on the fence of if you wanna try it or not, you could go one way or the other of like, eh, I don't really care. It's a perfect time to go try the Shamrock Shake. So it's a day after St. Patrick's Day. McDonald's already tweeted on my thing. So like they said like, while supplies last, so you better go get it, but low key like chill, your ice cream machine's always broken. So don't be boasting on social media that like Shamrock Shake is the shit because um, like, no, nah, now's not your time. Like stick to fries and burgers. But I retweeted them. I said, I, I'm gonna give it a chance. So I'm gonna go try it right now. We'll see if it's good and I'll let you know. Okay, pulling up. Uh, first thing you guys know, I hate these double lane drive-throughs. Oh, they're so stupid. Cause it just gives me anxiety of like, you go, I go, you go but we're here nonetheless. And if they don't have the Shamrock Shake, I'm gonna be a little tight because it's busy right now. <laughs> but I'll deviate and get something off the menu. But right now, just going for the Shamrock Shake, but it's busy, um, so we'll see if they even have it. All right, here we go. I'm almost at the drive-through window if this guy pulls up a little bit. How you doing? Do you guys still have the Shamrock Shake? Yes. Okay, is that vanilla with, or like, how is that made? Uh, well, we have, we have Shamrock Syrup that gets put in with, oh, okay. mixed in with, I guess, vanilla, with the, right, with the regular ice cream without the vanilla. Yeah, that's cool. Can I do a Shamrock Shake then with whipped cream? Okay. Please, just one. And that'll be over today? Yeah, that's it. Cool, thank you. Ooh, doggy. You didn't see my order, but it's time to shamrock. They've got it. And I'm going next. Going around the mountain when she comes. Oh man, here it goes. And shamrock shake. Come on, hand it to me, lady. Shake me, shamrock. 
stalling. Stalling me. Come on. Oh, she's coming. Thank you so much. Sam Reezy Shake! Sam Reezy Shake! The first thing you gotta do if you're a drive through expert is just pull up to the closest parking spot and you're gonna get my reaction right now. Pull up to the closest parking spot in the lot. Ugh, I dropped the straw. Okay, here we go. First sip. I do this when I get regular food too. I'll just pull up to the closest one. Yo. Uh-uh. Oof. So I asked them what it was. They said it was vanilla, uh, soft ice cream or yogurt, whatever they have there, with like a green syrup. Seems like they put too much green syrup in that. Oh, too green syrupy. As you can see, it's literally like a mint syrup that they like probably just squirted too many times like you could taste the tanginess on your neck i like almost want to keep drinking it just because it's like cold and it's like a milkshake and you can never just waste a milkshake but nah, i don't know nah 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 it like burns the back of your throat oh it's like tangy i got booger Oh, oh, yeah. So, uh, Shamrock Shake, Shamrock, no, 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 no. I hope that's not how like my first experience with a McRib will be, but um, yeah, too tangy. Something, something, something's off. Tastes like sour, but like maybe that's the mint taste they're going for. Maybe if you're like Irish and you like like minty taste, but um, nah. Not a fan, sorry. Sorry to disappoint. I thought this was gonna be banging, but uh-uh, sorry, peace.